Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I'm going to talk about a new recovery tool that I've been using over the past couple of months, and that is my chirp wheel. So I've been using the chirp wheel for a few things over the past couple of months. Uh, number one, to help roll my back out. Uh, number two, to help me be more mindful of my posture and to help correct my posture, I guess. I'm sure I'm like many of you and have some less than ideal posture habits, such as being on my phone, sitting at the computer, um, I get tight from swimming and ultimately as a result of all that oftentimes I'll catch myself in kind of a hunched forward position and really poor posture. So I use the chirp wheel to help open myself up and ultimately check in with myself and mentally be more mindful of carrying myself with proper posture. And then lastly another thing that I use the chirp wheel for is when I'm rolling out my back often I'll push it a little bit deeper and actually get in a nice hip stretch as well which I'll show you a little later on in this video. So before the chirp wheel um, I used to roll my back out all the time for many years with a foam roller and a foam roller is still probably my favorite recovery tool. Um, it's probably the most versatile and it's easy to travel with at least this one is. But as far as rolling my back out, it pales in comparison to the chirp wheel. The chirp wheel is definitely not as versatile as a foam roller, but what the chirp wheel does do, it does really, really well. So let's get into what makes the chirp wheel so good and how I use it. So my chirp wheel is the 10 inch version. Um, this is kind of known as their medium pressure one. They also make a larger 12 inch version. And then they also make a little six inch version, which is gonna offer a lot more deep tissue than what this one does. Okay, so first of all, every chirp wheel is surrounded with this nice soft black padding. Every chirp wheel is also five inches wide. So when you compare that to a foam roller, you can see why it targets the muscles on the back a little bit better. So not only is it narrower than the foam rollers, but it also has the spinal canal in the middle. And let me get into how I use it. Okay, so I usually use the chirp wheel at least once a day, if not sometimes two. And I'll usually use it at the end of the day always when I'm doing the rest of my recovery stuff. So when I'm doing my foam rolling, some stretching, maybe some yoga. Sometimes I lay on an acupressure mat and often I will do two to three minutes on the chirp wheel just to stretch things out. And then likewise, when I'm catching myself being mindful of my posture and notice that it's slipping throughout the day or I'm just starting to feel extra tight, then I'll spend an extra few minutes during the day on the chirp wheel too if I can. So it's pretty easy to use. Um, you just place it on your back here like this and then you line up the spinal canal with your spine. I like rolling on it back and forth a few times. You will more than likely feel quite a few pops in your back. And then I like rolling it up between my shoulder blades and resting here for a second with my arms spread out, just helping myself to open up. And this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying I want to be mindful of my posture. Taking a few breaths or a few minutes in this pose is reversing all of those bad posture habits that I have throughout the day. And then I said I also like using it for a hip stretch. So if you roll it a little bit further down, you can also hold it here in this position. And this is a really nice hip stretch as well. And that's how I personally use the chirp wheel. Um, this one here, the 10 inch, it retails in at 55 US dollars. Um, I believe right now, as of shooting this video, you can buy all three. So the six inch, the 10 inch, and the 12 inch you can get for $99. So that's a pretty good deal. And if you're interested in getting one for yourself, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can find one. But overall, I'm very pleased with my chirp wheel. It definitely has a permanent spot now in my basket of recovery tools. And if you like my review, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe for more everything running, triathlon, and nutrition related.